I have a bunch of LEDs here. They're all wired up and tangled. After a while, it's difficult to tell whether they are still good or which side is positive and negative. If you have a good LED like this, you can pretty much tell which side is positive or negative. The shorter leg is the negative, the longer leg is the positive. And if you can also look inside the LED bulb, you can see a flag shaped material like this here, the flag shape, that's connected to the negative side and the other side would be the positive. So to see if they're still good, the easiest way is to connect it to a 3 volt or so power source. Or you can use a meter like this. Just set your meter to the dial checking uh, function. And connect your negative to the negative probe. And the positive to the positive leg of the LED. And you can see and a good LED would light up. That's because the meter supplies a little bit of electricity. So you can tell. So for this whole bunch of LEDs, all I have to do is uh, check to see if they light up or not. If they light up, they're good. So that's, that's the quick way to check it. Another thing I, I was uh, playing around with uh, is the USB port and actually um, you can light up a couple of LEDs connected in series that would make it about 6 volt or so and usually USB is 5 volt and you can test it. You can just wire two together and you plug it in and the negative side would be the, the casing of the LED I mean the uh, USB and you can see it light up just uh, touch the contact pin usually is one you know if your LED is facing up like this with the plastic in the bottom is the right hand pin that would be the, the positive you can see the LED light up now don't do this with one LED because one LED is about three volts and you will overheat and it will burn you and um, hey it can explode so don't do that five volt is probably okay so that was kind of uh, neat you can actually make a very simple LED light and plug it into your USB just connect a couple of uh, LEDs and if you have more LEDs and you can you can connect them in parallel and look it up LED calculators and you might be able to make a light and use some resistors to limit the current if you're using one LED right but the simplest way like I said would be to use an inexpensive meter like this set it to the dial checking function and there you have it no more confusion as to is this still good should I throw them out or not I have so many of them. They're cheap enough. You can buy them like a hundred LEDs for five ten dollars on eBay. But why throw them out if they're still good? Okay, thanks for watching.